All right, this is John Cole with DiscountJuicers.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you. In this episode, I'm going to share with you guys the best juicer for juicing cannabis leaves or hemp leaves, industrial hemp leaves, what other kind of leaves you want to juice, including herbs. I'm going to show you guys the best juicer. Now, first, I want to tell you guys the worst juicer to use absolutely is something like this. This is known as a high speed juicer. It has a fast running blade. It has a shredding disc that shreds the produce and then kicks it out. Uh, these style juicers on the end are terrible at juicing any kind of herbs or leafy greens. And cannabis, after all, is just an herb to me. So the kind of juicer you want to get to juice cannabis leaves is a slow juicer. And there are different kinds of slow juicers. There are vertical slow juicers, such as the shine juicer here. While you can juice cannabis much more effectively in a vertical juicer, than a high speed machine, this machine is not optimal to juice cannabis leaves either because the, uh, the, 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 the heavy stalks and fibers from the cannabis leaves or the stems can clog up this style machine. Another juicer that you might want to use and be tempted to use is a twin gear juicer. Now these style juicers generally get a very high yield when juicing things like carrots, but if you're juicing straight leafy greens such as herbs, it'll juice them fine. The issue is that it'll create excessive foam in your juice, which is basically oxidizing some of the nutrients uh, because it does not handle straight cannabis leaves well. Now, if you're just going to mix cannabis leaves with carrots, that style machine is probably going to work the best. That being said, if you just want to juice cannabis leaves or cannabis with carrots or cannabis with celery or whatever else you want to juice with it, I would recommend a juicer such as this. This is a horizontal single auger machine, and this is the all-new Santa 727. This is probably the best juicer you guys could buy for cannabis. It is the ultra high-end premium horizontal slow juicer on the market. It has many features not found in other horizontal auger juicers such as a DC powered motor with variable speed control. You could run this at 40 revolutions per minute which is the lowest RPM of any horizontal juicer that I'm aware of. In addition most juicers have a 30 minute run time. Um, while this juicer is not commercial uh, for commercial use this has an basically an unlimited run time because it is a DC motor so they literally took them three years to design this. This is now just released in the USA, uh, originally sold in Europe, and I'm glad it's here. In addition, they also have an oil extractor that you can extract hemp seed oil from, which is kind of crazy. So maybe in an upcoming video, I'll be using the oil attachment with this machine to make hemp seed oil. In addition, there's special design on this machine that gives the, the leaves you are juicing to pressing. So as you put the produce in the machine, it hits this auger, which is a nice long auger, and then it runs its way down through the crushing and grinding, and then squeezes out the juice here. And then before the juice comes out the end, there's this little blade that spins around in here. It's a little cutting blade that'll then extract and press out more juice. So this is a style machine that I would recommend for you guys. In addition, there's a one touch button to basically pop this uh, you know, off simply and easily without any kind of collar to get stuck on you. So I really like the design on this. In addition, uh, this comes with a stainless steel high-end uh, pulp catch bowl and a, a handmade crystal um, juice collection cup. I won't be using those today myself, but check the link down below for my original video on the Santa 727 if you want to learn all about this machine. Aside from having the juicing screen that has a stainless steel and stainless steel, they also have, um, this is for vegetables, they also have a fruit screen as well as a sorbet or processing screen that was just you can use to grind things up. This also is a very simple and easy juicer to clean. I estimate this to take me like 80 seconds to clean because there are very few parts you'll need to clean when you're done juicing. So now I get to juice some cannabis leaves for you guys. First time on this YouTube channel. Now number one, uh, these were grown in California legally. And check out these nice cannabis leaves with the stems and all. Um, this is basically the trimmings from my friend who's a grower. If I remember, I'll put a link down below to the series I made on my gardening channel showing how he grows 
huge cannabis, literally, bushes <laughs> that are 10 feet tall and 12 feet wide. So when he does all his trimming, uh, sometimes I will get the leaves from them, and I would encourage every grower out there that grows their own cannabis to juice the leaves. A lot of you guys have been throwing these out. Um, you know, hemp is also juiced in the same way. The hemp looks the same, but just does not contain the THC. And as far as I'm aware, if you juice straight cannabis or cannabis with only vegetables, you shouldn't get the psychoactive effects from the cannabis or the intoxicating effects if you drink it straight. That being said, I also have videos online that show how I have juiced cannabis leaves and some uh, immature buds and have gotten high for 10 hours. And that's on my gardening channel. I'll put a link down below if you guys want to watch that in a different style of juicer. That being said, I highly recommend an auger horizontal juicer such as this. And the reason why I'm using the Santa today is because it not only has one speed, but it has three speeds. And I want to turn this on for you guys because you guys literally won't be able to hear it when it's running. So the first speed runs at 40 RPMs. I'll turn this on and listen. I mean, do you guys hear that running? I mean, literally, it is whisper quiet. I mean, if I, if I didn't tell you it's running, you couldn't hear it because it's running that slow. And so that's how I'm going to process these cannabis leaves at 40 RPMs. So literally, we're just going to sh shove one leaf in there. It sucks it in very nice and slowly. It's going to grind it and crush it. Let's go ahead and open this flap on the bottom. And we're going to get the juice out. So literally, to save you guys some time, we're just going to go ahead and put one leaf in or a few leaves in at a time. You want to make sure that you do not overload this machine. You're just... I'm going to grab 10 of them and put them in all in at once. Maybe I'm going to grab like, you know, three or four at a time. But if you feed things in too quickly, you know, uh, you can damage the juicer. That's the most important thing, especially things like wheatgrass and sprouts. So you want to just make sure you put a few in at a time. Let the machine process it. You guys can see some, uh, it's grinding up and then some of the juice is dripping out here. Hopefully we'll get some juice dripping out the bottom here pretty soon. And I see the pulp coming out. All right, so to save you guys some time, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, continue to juice my canvas leaves uh, through the Santa 727. Now the other thing I will say is that these canvas leaves are about three days off the plant and they're looking pretty good still. These were kept under refrigeration. That being said, for the most potency, I would encourage you guys to harvest them and use them immediately right after. Wow, as you guys can see, this machine is not cranking down in a load and we're now getting the juice and this pulp coming out. Oh my gosh, I am impressed. It's so dry. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and speed this up for you guys now and come back at you when we're all done and I'll show you guys what we got. So as you guys can see, I'm juicing cannabis. It's working really well, actually. And I want to go ahead and share with you guys my technique here that'll save you guys hassle. Um, you know, I found that actually not using the pusher is better because when you push the pusher, it basically clogs up the machine and then it basically could jam it up because there gets to be too much stem in there. Now this machine does have an automatic auto reverse, which is really nice because if you should jam it, it'll back itself up and then go forward on its own. But basically the best way i found to juice the cannabis uh, leaves are you want to take like seven. So I got one, two, line up all the stems at the bottom. Let's see, we got two there, uh, three, four, five, six, seven. So we want to basically make sure all the stems are lined up. Then we're going to take this whole assembly and shove it into the auger all the way straight down. The auger will grab the stems and literally suck the cannabis in without you having to use a pusher uh, for the most part, or that's how it, sh it should happen. It pulls it in nice and slowly. It's able to grind it up and extract it. And you, as you guys can see when it comes out, like there's no discernible stems that are coming out. This pulp is actually quite dry and I'm actually quite impressed. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to like grab like seven stems <laughs> at a time. And uh, I'll continue to feed them into the machine and we're gonna come back at you <laughs> when I'm about done.
I wanted to take a break and show you guys actually what's going on with the juicer. So the juicer's working quite well, but I've noticed that inside this uh, housing, uh, the pulp as it comes out is a bit warm, so we're gonna go ahead and measure that with the temp gun. 97 degrees, so it's still raw. The juice is measuring at 80, 79, and the leaves themselves are at 75. So there's a little bit of friction uh, during the juicing process. This uh, comes apart quite easily. And if we look, actually, we have a lot of like pulp that's actually come through um, the screen. So I'm basically just going to clear that out because that's going to reduce our yield. And I'll worry about straining the uh, pulp off a little bit later. I probably should have done this a little bit earlier in the juicing process because I am processing actually a lot of leaf material right now. So let's go ahead and let's see, pull this out. And uh, get some of that out. All right, so that, that's pretty good. I think we cleared it out, N not bad. And let's go ahead and reassemble and uh, let's go ahead and continue to juice. So you might want to pay attention and see if it's getting clogged up with fine particulate that's actually working its way through the screen. And uh, let's go ahead and continue to juice. Put this on like the super low speed 40 RPMs to get the rest of our cannabis juiced on up. So we're down to the last handful of leaves. The Santa 727 has worked without incident. Um, it did auto reverse a few times when I loaded it up too much, but I really like that about the Santa 727 in auto reverse so that you don't have to. We got a little bit of the junk trim here left over. We're gonna go ahead and let this uh, finish out and we're gonna come back at you how we're gonna use this pulp to extract even further. And then I'm gonna get to taste test the juice for you guys. So the juicer's just about done. Let's go ahead and maybe crank this up to the high, higher speed. You can hear it really start going like over 100 RPMs if we get any last juice out. And I really like that we were able to juice at a low and slow 40 revolutions per minute uh, to minimize the oxidative damage. And then the final thing I like to do, I like to tip the juicer up a little bit. And you guys can see if you tip it up, I'm, I'm getting a lot of juice that was, uh, you know, still stuck in the machine. And then we could go ahead and close this little spout cap so we don't get any drips. And we could take our container out and you guys can see we have about eight ounces of the cannabis uh, ju leaf juice straight. Now, I don't recommend you guys drink straight leaf juice. I don't know what's gonna happen <laughs> to you guys. I recommend you guys dilute this down. So normally you're gonna juice a little bit of cannabis um, with other vegetables so it's not as strong. Um, I'm gonna be daring today and we're gonna go ahead and try a half ounce shot of the cannabis leaf juice. I've never, never done a cannabis leaf juice shot. Some of this cannabis is high as 30% THC is the expected value, although it has not been tested because it's going to be harvested probably in the next week there. Half ounce shot. Oh my gosh. This stuff is strong tasting. I've never had straight cannabis juice. You know what? I like the flavor a lot more than wheatgrass. While it is strong, it's uh, more agreeable to me personally. That being said, you guys need to figure out your own dosages and you know contact your medical provider to learn more about the benefits of the cannabis leaf juice. To me, the cannabis leaf juice is just another herb or leafy green vegetable to me that should be respected. It has things like vitamins and minerals, also structured water, also cannabinoids that I think can be health beneficial according to some of the scientific studies I've seen. All right, so we made about uh, eight ounces of cannabis leaf juice, not a lot of juice in the cannabis leaves, but I want to show you guys this. This pulp is impressive. I mean, it's just literally ground up. If we take it in a handful and squeeze it, ugh, I can't really squeeze any drops out. But there's like no juice coming out of my hands. So there you guys have it. We made the fresh cannabis juice in the Santa 727. Worked totally without issue. Um, I want to show you guys actually what you're going to need to clean when you're done juicing and I, I will probably get some more uh, juice out of the in innards of the machine once we start taking this apart. 
very simple to clean. You have like just a few parts to clean. Uh, let's see, we got some uh, residual pulp here. So we got this part, just this little end cap here that does all the secondary grinding. We then have the juicing screen here. Let's go ahead and get some of that juice off and you guys can see it literally ground up the cannabis and was shoving it through the screens. So this is the fine particulate. I'll just filter this out later. Actually, maybe we're gonna go ahead and try this to you. This is like the juice pulp fine stuff. Mmm. <laughs> I like that, it tastes good actually. And then you have to clean this little screen that literally takes me like 30 seconds to clean. So we have two parts there. You have the auger, look at the auger, man. The auger is pretty much already clean. Let's rinse it off a little bit. That's three parts. And you have the easy release, just press the button, uh, turn this to the side, and this whole assembly comes off. So four pieces to clean, simple and easy, um, high end, uh, will not break down, or you won't overload this because it does auto reverse on its own. So now you guys learn, if you guys want to juice, have the right juicer for cannabis, this is the best juicer. You can do it at the lowest RPM. It has an auto reverse feature. So should you overload it or feed things in too fast, it'll reverse itself and then forward so that you don't have to play with the reverse on and off button. And it just worked amazingly. One whole cup of cannabis juice. For me, I like to use this cannabis juice in recipes. So I'll be using this cannabis juice to make cannabis ice cream uh, using uh, coconut milk that I make fresh with dates, vanilla bean, and I'll be adding this cannabis juice so that I can then dose it out in small quantities. I personally like to have the cannabis juice uh, whenever I could get it because I do believe it is health promoting based on some studies when you ingest it uh, through edibles. Um, I personally do not smoke uh, cannabis myself. I believe that could not be good for your lungs. Anyways, there you guys have it. If you guys enjoy this episode of learning about the best juicer money can buy for juicing your cannabis greens, um, please th thumb this video up. I may do more videos in the future with cannabis, making recipes with cannabis, I believe is an amazing ingredient and should be used more often and that people should have access to it, whether that is industrial hemp or CBD, you know, hemp leaves or the THC leaves, if it is legal to grow. Uh, where you live, many states are now um, legalizing the cannabis, which I think is a good thing to do. Also, be sure to click that subscribe button right down below so you never miss out on my new and upcoming episodes. I've come out every five to seven days. You never know where I'll show up or what you'll be learning on my YouTube channel. Make sure you click the little bell so you get notified as many of you as you And finally, be sure to check my past episodes. My past episodes are wealth of knowledge. Over 600 episodes at this time on this YouTube channel dedicated to comparing and interesting all the different major brand juicers, including new juicers on the market, such as the Santa 727 that is now available in the United States. Once again, link down below uh, to the video on the unboxing of the Santa 27 so you can learn more about it if you are interested. Now, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please support me by making your purchase at discountjuicers.com. This allows me to continue to make these videos to juice strange, weird things like cannabis so that you guys could learn the best juicer for your specific needs. I sell all the different major brand juicers and each juicer has its own nuances and you know, if I used the wrong juicer with this, it would have worked horribly, would have got you know poor yield, could have clogged and jammed and even broken the machine. I mean, the cannabis was quite difficult to juice, especially all those stems that literally got ground up into like sawdust like pulp this stuff is completely amazing so uh with that my name is john kohler with discountjuicers.com be sure to visit discountjuicers.com slash youtube for special promotional offers for our youtube visitors